From Los Angeles, I'm Brad Lamack. Welcome to segment two of Inside the Business of Acting with Michael Donovan. I'm a talent manager. I wrote a book called The Business of Acting, and what we do on this series is present to you some conversations with some really interesting people who have had important journeys in the business, and we're going to learn from their uh, mistakes and their turning points and uh, important the lessons learned along the lessons way. If learned. you had a chance to do it again differently, you would. Michael Donovan, one of the, the, the prominent, preeminent casting directors here in Los Angeles and, and coming up later, we're going to talk about your work in Los Angeles theater. Mm -hmm. People think, you know, theater, they think New York, but there are some very key people who have worked very hard to build a reputation for Los Angeles as a theater town, both for theater goers and for actors seeking professional work in, in the journey of building their resume. So we will talk about that. Your decision to give up the pursuit, the, the career journey, the pursuit of the career as an actor mm -hmm. and go into casting, um, that was a bold move. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, I'm an actor, this is all I want to do, mm -hmm. I have the passion, the dream, the... In a lot of ways, it can be a little myopic because you close yourself off to a lot of other opportunities, creative opportunities that could really be extraordinary. I mean, mm -hmm. It seems to me that was your decision, too. It, was an ev it evolved, but yeah. it got you the right place. Um, well, I was acting and directing. And that's kind of how I got into casting, because I directed a play, um, and uh, casting director Beth Holmes, who's very respected, and uh, casting director for commercials, and the lovely lady, uh, came to see the show, and she came backstage, and she said she really did enjoy the direction, and would I be interested in directing casting sessions? Nice. Well, I was an actor, and <laughs> someone was offering me money, and I said, yeah. oh, of course, and I had no clue what she was talking about, but uh, two days later I was winging it, and that's kind of how I got into casting, mm -hmm. through my directing. So it was really uh, not expected, not planned. Yeah. I don't know how, I, you know, right. how it happened. It was just, you know, God went, do this, and went, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, so I started doing that, found that I loved it, and then that's kind of where it started. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time, you had a director and you had a camera operator in the room and it, it, now okay, it's a commercial audition. Yeah, commercial audition. Yeah. It was commercial. It's not like that, that yeah. anymore. No, is now it? it's one person. Yeah. And had it been one person at the time, it couldn't have been me because I had zero technical skills about running a camera at the time. So yeah. it was all very serendipitous and right. Uh, well, and yeah, no, it's true. Yeah. And now it, it's so completely different, right? Because it's not like you just go in and you turn on the little reel-to-reel -reel or whatever no, no, those no, no, big no. machines. Yeah. I mean, now you have to be like a technical It's genius. changing regularly. Right. I mean, it's, it, 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 the problem is trying to keep up with the technology is, is, is unbelievable. Uh, we've gone from three-quarter tape to half-inch tape to DVD to now, you know, just putting someone online. I mean, it, it's, uh, who knows, you know, I don't know what will be next. <laughs> you don't any producer sessions, really, uh, do you? Callbacks, in some ways they can get the stuff uh, online or they can get it it depends it, on the producer depends yeah. on the director how involved they want to be in that first round yeah um, some prefer to wait just till callbacks um, so it, it varies from job to job and it, it, and, and it varies whether you're doing film television theater or commercials too obviously um, I want to talk about the audition process in, in, in just a bit mm -hmm. but for you being on the other side of that process were there rather instant realizations of what was happening and your perspective on that? My head was spinning the first couple of days. I was, oh my God, all the stuff that I didn't know. Had I known when I was an actor, would have made me a much better actor. Like what? Uh, just like uh, um, the way people submit pictures that are ludicrous. Uh, um, submitting themselves for things that they're completely wrong for. Uh, oh, that's, and, not, that's not new. Right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> showing up without a picture and thinking that that's okay when you go to an audition. Um, showing up uh, late and assuming, well, I'm only 10 minutes late. Uh, what? Uh, you know, to me, we've talked about this, but to, to me being on time for an audition means you're there at least 10 minutes early. That's on time. Showing up at your appointment time, you're late, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, because you have no, no idea what you might have to do at that audition, particularly in commercials. So, oh, the list goes on and on. I, 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 just understanding the sheer numbers mm -hmm. that you're up against. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. And Which you didn't know before? I mean, you had no idea? Of I, I don't think I was cognizant of it. I think I had kind of a vague sense of it, but to really see it work was just uh, so eye-opening. And I think every actor, if they're given the opportunity, they should work in casting. To, and, and a ton of casting writers will be very happy to have you work for them as an intern for free, because we're all looking for free help, of course, and, and, and you get a chance to work behind the scenes. And, and let's be honest, you're in a position where if I need somebody who's your type, who am I going to call in? You know, you're going to be even getting aging Jews? even aging Jews. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> it's it is interesting because as an actor, because uh, you know, I went underground as an actor. That's a whole other story. It, you only know what ah, a couple of things. You only know what you're submitted on right. because y you either made the submission or y someone who represents you made it, and you mm -hmm. got called in for that particular role, right? Uh, or, and you only know about what the competition is really like because of who's in that room when you sh show up for, Absolutely. The, for the audition. So I think what you're saying is, is really valid. Just yeah, you don't see the other side of it, you know, yeah. and, and don't understand um, the better business people are often the people who are being seen yeah. because they just are better at what they're doing in terms of the, the, the business side of it. So, and, and it's hard to explain until you actually see it in person. And now I just look at things and I kind of go, oh, yeah, I used to do that, you know. It's in spite of, oh, like, that discovery of, uh, of what was really going on, you still decided to pursue casting, mm -hmm. right? So you, did you march forward without any look back of thinking that, well, maybe I might someday get back into it or something like that? You know, I don't think you ever know when you go into a career whether you're done forever uh, with yeah. that thing. I, I mean... I still can't tell you that for sure I'm done forever. I don't know. I mean, who knows? Maybe at some point I might do it again. But I don't, right now, no. And to run after it again, no. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because I know what it's like. <laughs> no, that's a terrible thing to say. No, I, I, I just think uh, it requires an incredible amount of um, courage, stamina, and determination. Mm -hmm. And I think... You have to really, really want it. I'm paraphrasing, but Jane Fonda the one said something along the lines of, if there's anything else that you can do, then you should be doing that. Because then you don't understand. It has to be 100% or it's right. just not going to work. Right. You know? Well, so, part of that dilemma, particularly with the, with the kids I teach and that you teach, is that what they see, their role models or their examples, uh, make it look so e easy. Right, mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, we talked in our first segment a little bit about the, the disconnects, you know, and and while there are schools that are teaching Stanislavski, mm -hmm. the, the the real world out here yeah. is that they don't really care if you yeah. can spell it. Yeah. That that's that's in, in education is great. We are both mm -hmm. big believers in education, but at its core, it's an irrelevant piece of the puzzle when someone goes up for the job. Uh -huh. It's something that has to all be in your knowledge, in your history, but a lot of times the people that you're going to be auditioning for don't care. It's something that you can then tap into, something that you can use as a source for you, but, um, but you're right. Um, I remember one of my first auditions after I'd gotten out of college, um, the casting director said, who you're studying with? I said, well, I just got my bachelor's in Boston. He goes, no, no, who are you studying with? I went, I just spent how many years getting my of dollars. degree and that doesn't matter? And yeah. basically it didn't. So. Of course, it also depends on the cast writer. For me, I absolutely do respect where you went to college. And there are certain programs in the country that are very valuable to me because I know what you've learned and I know what you're ready to do. Um, but I'm very open to seeing just about anybody. I, I don't feel locked into yeah. just, oh, you have to have gone to Tisch and you've got to have gone to Carnegie Mellon. And, well, well, but because you look, I mean, the goal is that you look for the best, mm -hmm. which is rather interesting because the, the profession your profession, it, it's had an evolution of its own, mm -hmm. really. I mean, we have a different kind of casting. <laughs>